Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be talking about the TV shows I've been watched when I was trying to improve my listening and speaking during that summer holiday. Three months, a really huge amount of time. Okay, so I'm going to be, uh, in this video is going to going to have two parts. In the first part, I'm going to be giving you the, giving you the TV shows one by one. And in the second part, I'm going to be talking about how I used those TV shows to improve my English. Okay, so let's get started. Well, the first one is the, the, the first and my favorite TV show is all the time white color i maybe i watched it I, i'm not sure i watched it more than four times from the beginning and i never ever feel regret this is the best tv show you can ever watch white color you should watch it don't miss it and if you are if you want to consume a little bit of british accent um this one is for you Merlin. okay it's a British drama. Um, there are lots of magic in there, and it will get you in there. So, the third one is Pretty Little Liars. This one is really long. Um, so, this is one of the best tools you can use because it's really long and it will help you a lot in the case of improving your English. You should watch it. Pretty Little Liars. Well, the other one, actually, this is also one of my favorite. And, af of course, after the white color. And it is Once Upon a Time. This is also really mad. There's a lot of magic going on here also. Um, and uh, Regina, the evil queen, and Rumpelstiltskin is my favorite characters. You should watch it. Also, um, I really had lots of fun when I was watching that that one, uh, which is all about surviving, fighting, um, and again, there's lots of magic going on here. The Legend of the Seeker. Even um, if you're Turkish, you know that in some um, television at nights there was like episodes of that regularly. In a regular basis okay you'll know that if you're Turkish so legend of the secret is also a good one you can watch it and you can use it and those are the TV shows that I watched but not when I was learning English after the the three months of period of time um, I just watched those uh, just to have fun and let's just talk about them a little bit well zoo this is also one of the good TV show. Um, it's a scientific. It's all about um, some genetically engineered animals, and they are just invading the world. And some people, group of people, are trying fighting against them and making things normal. Okay, and Lost. Um, I think this is really um, famous one. I think you all know it. I assume that you know it. I don't know. I just um, gave up watching it for no reason. Maybe when I have time, I'm going to keep watching it. I'm not sure. But also, the How I Met Your Mother. This is also after the season five. I just gave up watching it. I also don't know why, but um, I don't know. I'm going to watch it or not again. I'm not sure. And also, The Young Sheldon. This is also my favorite. Um, it's all about the pure intelligent of a little boy. So you should watch it. You're going to learn a lot from him. And the recently, the one, my favorite is Grey's Anatomy. It's really a long one. Um, uh, right now, I think there is 16 season exist. I, I start to watch it the last October and I still couldn't able to down with it. I'm not sure when am I going to do it. We will see about that. Okay. So we are done with the movies. Let's just um, talk about how I used the TV shows, movies. 
I didn't talk about movies here, but let's, uh, I mean, here, let's talk about only the TV shows, the American drama, American TV shows, um, how I use them to educate my ears and improve my speaking. Okay, so in high school, I know that the white color and I watched it with a Turkish subtitle. Okay, so before the three months, uh, the summer holiday, I, you know, as I decided that, okay, I'm going to speak like a native, I'm going to sound like a native because it was really matters for me. And if you don't know why it was matters, we'll just go and watch the previous video and you're going to understand why it was really important for me to be able to speak like a native or sounding like a native. So, um, I don't know the white color and I knew that I should start to watch something just to improve my ears and consume a little bit culture. Okay, so, okay, this time I know the everything. I mean, the what they are talking about, uh, what's going to happen in episodes. So, this time I watched the white color from the beginning, but with English subtitle. I watched it. And it was fine that I understand many things because I had watched it before with Turkish subtitles, so I was familiar with it. But then I realized that there's nothing that I can compare with. Different accents, different um, way of speaking, you know. So then I decided to watch Merlin, which is a British drama. So American accent, and at the same time, I was I was going to consume a British accent. So I watched them. It was going really fine. And after some point, and I also, before I forgot, I watched the Merlin with uh, also Turkish subtitle because at that moment, it was really hard for me to understand the British accent because uh, before I consumed, I, I was just focusing on the American accent. So it was hard to understand the British accent. Well, after some point, um, I also realized that I want to try myself that without a subtitle, Turkish or English, how much I understand. So I decided to watch Pretty Little Liars. I saw on the TV with Turkish um, voice, but then, okay, this is, this sounds, I mean, looks good. So let's just watch it. So per day, every single day, 11 hours, Per day, I was watching TV shows. I know this sounds really extreme. Actually, it's not sounding extreme. It's just extreme. But um, at that moment, I mean, at that time, there was nothing to focus on for me other than English. So English. What I focused was just English. Well, um, I was watching one of them with Turkish, sub. I mean, English subtitle. Uh, Merlin with Turkish subtitle and the Pretty Little Liars without any subtitle just to test my myself that how much I understand the movie. I'm I mean, not the movie, the TV show. Okay, so this was the case and the summer hall during the summer holiday, I just kicked the Turkish out of from my life and only focused on the English, just listening English, trying to speak English and using, I mean, listening the different accents with different speeds just to educate my ears. Um, this was like, uh, how can I name it, is like um, a passive time that you're only listening. Um, and after some point, of course, after that summer holiday, there was some other techniques I've been used. And of course, those this, we're not going to be talking about them in, in this video. Um, so... I, after I educate my ears by listening different accents, uh, by different movies, um, it was just become getting easier to understand for me. Even I was getting some papers for the Pretty Little Liars. Uh, I was taking notes, the, wo the words, the phrases, I was catching it. I really enjoyed it when I was doing it. It was really encouraging me because I... I just realizing that if day by day, I understand more, I catch more. So this is pretty much the technique, um, the way I use the TV shows. And I think um, this is really clear. If you have any question, please let me know in the comments below. 
and yeah this is for this video i mean this is enough for this video and this is pretty much what all i can say about that okay so yeah i am at the end of my words if you have any question or if you have any other recommendation um let us in the comments below also before i end the video um i want to say that those are the movies i recommended i mean i watched i liked that worked for me that i'm interested of so you should create your own list i mean if i say you should watch white color it doesn't mean that it's going to work for you just um watch an episode and then decided that you like and you like it or you're inter interested in and just take it into take a note that you're going to watch it okay take it into your list and then watch it so everything every single thing i say in this video i mean the mo the t uh, the tv shows are not the ones that you must watch you should create your own list actually you should write your own journey okay the tools that you're going to use you should choose okay so that's all for this video and Bye for now.